politics and nationalism. As a South Asian whose family has lived in Houston for 50 years, as an Indian Christian who grew up in this city, as a young person who is tired of hateful politicians saying they represent me, I stand here today disgusted that a man who is responsible for persecution of religious minorities, violence against felons, and so much evil is in that stadium being welcomed by thousands of supporters and dozens of elected officials. Modi does not represent me. Trump does not represent me. Our Senator John Cornyn told us that he was welcoming Modi on behalf of the Indian American community. I believe that Modi and Trump are twin sides of the same coin. Their, their policies are exclusionary, they're nationalist, this is make America great again, this is make India great again. I stand, I, I have no fear, I will speak my truth, which is no Muslim ban, no border wall, and no caged children, none of that. And in India, no uh, national re uh, register of citizens, which is making two million people so far stateless, and no concentration camps in India. It is one ideology, it is fascism, it is nationalism, it is extremism, white supremacy here in this country, Hindu supremacy, supremacism there in India, and I stand for peace and justice. It might be hot, but it's not any hotter than the barrel that is being pointed at a kid in Kashmir right now. Yes, it is a hot day. Yes, we could be spending this time with a family. But think about all the people who have been separated from their families in Kashmir. Think about those who cannot even speak for themselves. Well, the mobs that are lynching uh, boys like Junaid and Tabrez Ansari, they are Hindus. And when Mohammed Aklak was lynched, the, the call for the lynching happened inside a Hindu temple. And when little Asifa was raped, where did that rape happen? It happened inside a Hindu temple at the hands of Hindus, including a priest. And so I don't believe that, and I see it with my own eyes, that it is my Hindu community that is being hijacked and co-opted, and I will not be silent. <laughs> Hindus for Human Rights is an advocacy platform for human rights in India, in America, anywhere in the world where human rights are being violated. And we are Hindus, that's why we're called Hindus for Human Rights, and we believe that Hinduism stands for justice, stands for peace, stands for inclusion. We have a very precious notion called Ekatva, which means the oneness of all of us. So Hindus believe that God or whatever is divine is there in you and me and every atom in this universe. So it makes no sense to build hatred and violence and, and murders, lynchings in the name of this faith. And I will not rest and I will not be silent if fascism is being built on the name of my religion. We want justice, you say how? And the thing is now. We want justice, you say how? And the